Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we quickly look at Insta360 desktop software's new update. Some really nice stuff that they've changed, that they've added, um, which is just going to make our jobs a lot easier and more fun. So first of all, whole new user interface. As you can see here, I've loaded a couple of videos. Um, it's all completely changed. On the left hand side, you can see the videos. N cool feature now is you can scroll through your footage with the thumbnail viewer which is very cool uh, the stop one doesn't and it says lrv file required to display so i don't know if i added the normal file and not the lrv file but you can see the other ones uh, pretty much displays what it is and it's it's pretty smooth it's very responsive uh, at the top here just your simple thumbnail view like this your different viewers add footage or import footage at the top there um, this shows your local files and then you can import straight from the camera so you can plug in your insta 1r um, 1x2 whichever insta you've got and import it straight from the memory card it only reads insta files though so you can't do anything else favorite and then export at the bottom here we can see the timeline um, everything yes yeah, the same the timeline just looks a lot better um, also i think it works better you can now drag where you want to start i feel it's smoother the the last one um, you actually struggled to put your cursor on a thing it, it felt very jittery on mine and then obviously 360 um, yeah i'll put a link in the video below for this video pretty cool i do some 360 hikes so this is where your in and outs are you can change this one as well change it uh, back again see if that wants to move yeah back again and it's it's a lot more smoother at the top still the same this is your reframe that's your normal 360 and then on the right he has a lot of new things so yes the look now with your stabilization your direct locked yeah your your stitching stuff uh, image processing your voice focus through audio if you want to put a logo in uh, and then this is a new feature so pretty much what always happened with insta is you load your file you edit it and you're done when you open that file again it shows that edit you never had the the original file so you kind of had to delete all those key points and start again now with project man management you can save that edit so your your original file is always intact and you save your different edits here by create new project which is very cool so you can always make one video uh, or more than one video from one original video which i normally i normally record in 360 do a couple of reframes if the 360 is cool i upload the 360 as well so this is very very cool that they've added this and then at the bottom just your normal standard information about uh, about your uh, file and then at the bottom yeah also very cool this is the new export settings so x reframe video or plane 360 uh, where you want to save it yeah you can make presets to have a standard presets if you always want to record in or export in 1080 at a certain bitrate you can make a preset here obviously when you export you choose the preset and it changes all these settings for you uh, it can still change your bitrate still your resolution frame rate is locked and then he has your encoding formats and then export type video and then you can choose these i've never had uh, good videos with these so i don't use them another cool feature is you can add it to a queue now or you can obviously just start export but if you're busy with a couple of videos you can just add them to the queue and pretty much export them all at once so i feel this update's very good very needed and that's also what i really like about insta360 is they keep bringing out updates which is very cool another cool feature um, i must say i never really had problems with this but the undo function, uh, Control and Z on Windows is undo, or Command key and Z on Mac is undo. 
very cool thing is there's a redo button or reverse button if you accidentally undo something you can redo it with control shift and z on windows or command shift and z on uh, mac which is very needed as well so yeah guys quick look at the new um software i'm very excited to use it let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and please like and subscribe